welcome to Bible class. Hope you're having a great day today. All right, let's get started with a word of prayer. Bow your heads, close your eyes. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings to us. I pray that you would be with each of my students as they are listening to their Bible lesson today. I pray that you would just help them to understand what they are being taught and to be able to apply it to their lives. I pray, Lord, that you would also be with all of the families right now who are suffering because of this pandemic that you would just keep them safe. I pray, Lord, that you would also be with um, each of those who are sick, that you would heal them, Lord, and provide them strength that they need. We love you so much. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, we're going to get started with a song. You may or may not know this song. It's called Trust and Obey, because in our lesson today, we are talking about the first five disciples of Jesus. Now, these disciples they needed to trust and obey Jesus. So in our lesson, we're talking about trusting and obeying him. So we're going to sing a song about trusting and obeying Jesus. We're only going to sing the first verse in chorus so that we can go through it a little slowly and you can understand the words. All right. So the first verse says, when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. Okay. What does that mean? Well, that means that when we are obeying God by doing what the Bible says, then he will bless our life. That's what it means by what a glory he sheds on our way. The idea of shedding is the idea that here, the, the word means that he's going to give us glory, give us blessings, so we will have a good life. Our vida va a estar buena when we are caminando con Nuestra Señor Jesús. Okay? Let's look at the next verse. Or next part of the verse. Still verse 1. While we do his good will, so we're obeying God, obedecer al Señor, he abides with us still. So Jesucristo va a vivir con nosotros. And with all who will trust and obey. So Jesús va a vivir con todos están confiando y obedeciendo en el Señor. All right, so that's what it's talking about, that Jesus is with us when we trust him and when we obey him. So the chorus says, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Okay, so let's get started. We'll sing the, the song, okay? You know it? Go ahead and join with me. If not, just listen the first time. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust him. Sometimes it's hard to see on the screen, okay? 
But if you can see it fine, you want to just look on the screen, that's fine too. Okay, so restitution. Our card says, when you do wrong, try to make things right with the person you hurt. Because we all do things that are wrong, don't we? We all sin, we all disobey, and we hurt people. Sometimes we mean to do it, sometimes we want to hurt people, and sometimes we don't do it on purpose. It's an accident, but we still hurt people. It doesn't matter if you do it on purpose, if you want to, or if you do it on accident, you don't want to. Whenever you hurt someone, whenever you do something that's wrong to someone, you need to make restitution. You need to ask them to forgive you and make it right, as right as you can. For example, let's say you're playing with your brother or sister and you call them a mean name, something that's not nice, and it hurts their feelings and maybe they start to cry. You've hurt them, you've done something that's wrong, so you need to make it right. You need to say that you're sorry and you need to be kind to them. Maybe give them a hug, maybe not. Maybe they're not ready for a hug from you because you just hurt them, but you need to be nice to them and say that you're sorry. And part of saying that you're sorry, you're truly sorry, is not doing it again. A lot of times, we are okay with saying that we're sorry, but then we do it again. So are we really sorry? No. If you're truly sorry, you're going to do your best not to do it again. Sometimes we still do things again. We still do things that are wrong more than one time because we're human and we sin, but that doesn't make it right. When we do something like that, then we need to ask Jesus to forgive us and we need to make it right again. But we also need to ask Jesus to help us not to do it again, once we know we're doing something that's wrong. So make restitution, work on making it right with whoever you have done something wrong to. Maybe your mom or your dad told you to clean your room and you had a bad attitude. It doesn't matter if you did it or not. If you have a bad attitude, that's wrong. You cross your arms, you huff and stomp all the way over to your room to start limpiando. That's wrong, that's sin. So you need to go back to your mom and dad and say, I'm sorry, I had a bad attitude. Please forgive me. And then have a good attitude. I'm going to clean my room right now. Have a smile on your face. Because is it very fun to have a bad attitude? No, it's not. Do you feel good when you have a bad attitude? No, you feel miserable, right, grumpy? No one likes to feel like that. But you get to decide what your attitude is going to be like. If you're gonna be happy and obey, just like our song talked about, or if you're gonna be miserable and not obey. Let's look at our verse. Matthew 5:24. Leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Okay, what does that mean, Miss Ashley? So this is saying that before you go to bring your gift to God. So this was talking about in a time when people would go to the temple and bring their offerings and things like that. We don't have to do that anymore, because after Jesus died for us on the cross, we don't have to go to an altar. We can just talk to God in prayer. And we'll talk about that more later. Don't worry about it if you don't understand right now. Just know that we don't have to go to an altar. We can pray right to God where we are. But it's saying before you go to God with your gift, first go and make sure that everything is right with your brothers and sisters in Christ, with other people. You cannot ask God to forgive you of your sins if you're not willing to ask the people that you've done wrong to, to forgive you of your sins. You still have something that's outstanding. You still have sin towards other people. So you need to ask them to forgive you. So when you do wrong, you often have two people you need to go to, God and the person you've done wrong to. If you tell a lie, you need to ask God to forgive you for that lie, but you also need to ask the person that you lied to, to forgive you. So that's what this verse is saying. First, be reconciled to thy brother. So first ask that person to forgive you, then go to God. All right, let's practice it together. Matthew 5, 24. Leave there thy gift before the altar and go thy way. First, be reconciled.